Yeah, so if you think about that, that's just about one in 10 people. And now Santa Clara County is adding a whole nother group of people. Those are our kids five and up who are now eligible for that bivalent COVID booster vaccine that will protect them against the original strains, but also against the Omicron strains that are circulating right now. Now the county has gotten their shipment of doses, so they are ready to open up a number of clinics uh, around the county to make sure that families have access to that vaccine should they want it. There is the, main, the biggest location is at the Santa Clara County Fairgrounds, but if you look at your screen, you'll see these other locations. There's the Valley Specialty Center on Bascom Avenue near Valley Medical Center. Uh, in Mountain View, there's a clinic at 435 San Antonio Road. And in the South County, there is a drive through clinic in San Martin. Uh, many pediatricians' offices also have bivalent boosters for kids five and up, so you can call your doctor. You can also check with your local pharmacy because some of them will be vaccinating the little ones as well. Uh, again, that bivalent booster protects against the original strain, also the Omicron strain, and those newer strains that are circulating now are milder, but they are more contagious. Really important benefit of this vaccine is that it reduces the risk of hospitalization and death, especially for those who are over 50 years um, of age. Um, second, the bivalent booster will reduce your risk of long COVID. So we know now when California will end the state of emergency. The declaration will now expire at the end of February. Now, this is largely symbolic because the shelter order, the mask mandates, the vaccine notification requirements, they have really kind of gone by the wayside. But with no state state of emergency, local counties still can enact rules if they see fit, if they see cases surging. Uh, but check with your HR person or your boss because you may not have to notify anyone if you get COVID and go to work going on in the future once that state of emergency is declared. But don't do that. Uh, just check with your boss first. In San Jose, Chris Sanchez today in the Bay. Yeah, that's kind of scary.